gentlemen, please welcome Patrick Muldoon! <laughs>
No. <laughs> Not really. No. <laughs> no, how was your day? How's Susan? Who's Susan? <laughs> the woman he's been dating for seven months. Mm. No, I, I, I think they broke up. Yeah, we broke up. <laughs> <laughs> they broke up? That's it? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh my god, I don't believe this. You guys are best friends, all right? And that's it? You don't, you don't, I mean, that's all? I get that you're men. I get it, but that's it? I feel okay about it, the breakup and all. It sucks, but, you know. Sure. <laughs> Hey, yeah, what's going on? In the basement? Oh, but everyone's okay. There were five trucks, wow. But the dogs are fine? Yeah. Okay, well, t just tell Annie I'll be home soon. All right, thanks for calling. Bye. <laughs> soldier. Now you probably heard plenty of stories about the military, but I'll bet you never heard the bullshit stories about the military. That's why Time Life Books has put together a compendium of stories that are guaranteed to be 100% accurate. Bullshit. Presenting Time Life Military Bullshit. For example, you'll hear about the unbelievable campaign of American General Brewster Hackensack who conquered the entire Southern Hemisphere with his legion of goat-riding warriors in the early to late Middle Ages, while wielding a sack of ferrets in each hand. And there's Chief Bong Bong Bang Dang, the little-known Mongol chieftain who's known for tattooing pictures of adorable little kittens on all of his defeated foes, and can shoot lasers from his eyes. We've all heard the stories of great military campaigns, but now, the bullshit stories can finally be heard. Order now, and we'll start off your collection with bullshit tales about important generals. 
followed up by bullshit tales about people fighting each other in groups. And as a special gift, we'll even throw in bionic robots of ancient Rome. Each book is lovingly bound in leather, but not real leather. Have you heard the bullshit stories of World War III? I haven't. Order now, and we'll throw in an authentic World War II medal that we made in a factory. To order, call 1-800-732-STAR-SKULL-MONKEY-FACE-HAT. That's 1-800-732-STAR-SKULL-MONKEY-FACE-HAT. Or you can carve your address into a cannonball and fire it into the ocean. Or as always, you can put your dreams into an envelope and get a dragon to burn it with his fire breath. Order Time Life's military bullshit today and get started learning about the great bullshit military campaigns of the past. At ease. Okay, rookie, there's your new partner. Your first partner, 20 years experience. Go ahead and meet him. No funny business. No problem, Captain Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, uh, you must be Detective Detective Houston. Uh, I'm your new partner, Detective Poole. Nice to meet you, rookie. Uh, it's an honor, it's an honor to meet you. 20 years. That's a lot of experience. You were here like the Dirty Harry of Burbank. Richard Keith. 
Remember, sleeping like a baby is a good thing, but sleeping with a baby is a bad thing. <laughs> baby, 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 I'm coming. Girlfriends. <laughs> Tonight, the president was attacked by the press for his controversial statement that the police unfairly target minorities. This looks to be much worse than his early extremely controversial statements that the American health care kind of sucks and that he is an American citizen. The Chinese made a scientific breakthrough this week by being the first to reprogram stem cells to clone mice. The mice appear to be healthy and normal although they wanted to be cloned again an hour later. <laughs> in sports news, the United States won this week over Honduras in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Yeah. 
sending them for a chance to win the title. But who cares, it's soccer. <laughs> in entertainment news, thousands of nerds are gathering in San Diego for the 40th... <laughs> nerd fans here tonight <laughs> at the Comic-Con. This will make this the largest convention on record where no one will get laid. <laughs> In technology news, the new Palm Pre surprised tech aficionados by including the ability to sync with Apple's iTunes software. This functionality was rapidly removed by a software update from Apple, who released the following statement. Na 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 na, I'm taking my ball and going home. <laughs> Speaking of taking a ball and going home, it looks like Lance Armstrong won't be winning the Tour de France this year. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. Who made that graphic? Uh, you did just make it. <laughs> All right, uh, in international news. The country of Kyrgyzstan has come under international scrutiny for election irregularities. Sweden, the president of the European Union, expressed concern over these irregularities and dismay over the lack of vowels in the country's name. <laughs> the Canadian Train Engineers Union is striking this week, sending tens of thousands of travelers to find alternative transportation. But who cares? It's in Canada. Oh, don't make fun of Canada. We love Canada. <laughs> Man. It's just news, people. Also in international news, the International Monetary Fund approved a $2.6 billion loan for Sri Lanka to support its economy during the global downturn. Skeptics of, of the choice are concerned the country will blow all the money on a gaudy hat. <laughs> and finally, in Canadian soccer news, you know what, never mind. I'm Joseph Limbaugh, this is Benny Atten News. <laughs>
still think about you, and I don't remember what I said, but I'm sure there were the kinds of things I say to her. Not that you still wanted me, not that you didn't want to leave, but you have to be the one to say it first. And it's true, there's only you forever in me, but. What if I return? I am not so predictable For you I should disappear I am not so responsible So did you know I'm all alone And I should stay away but that I would Not that I've been losing sleep Late at night I begin to weep When I think of that thing You said I'd become Truth is I was almost there And that's the moment I began to care One when you said You would add enough And it's true There's only you Forever Imagine if I return I'm not so predictable For you I should run away I'm not so responsible So did you know I'm still full of you And I should stay away but
man. I mean, what's your problem? Eric, please, don't make a scene. Look, no, no, y'all are, I want to see the manager. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm sorry, is there a problem here, sir? Yeah, this guy keeps singing about my girlfriend and insulting me. <laughs> yeah, I assure you he's not. He does this song every night. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. About a blonde in a blue sweater dating a guy who's overweight and bald. <laughs> and looks super Jewish. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> like our first one, Miss Beautiful Bottom. How about you, Joseph? Do you bottom or top? <laughs> I, I like women. Mm, I've met many a straight arrow I've been able to bend. <laughs> Miss Brazil transsex. <laughs> Woo. That's a big woman man. I can put on a wig for you. You want blonde or brunette? Please stop talking. All right. <laughs> Fine. Let's give it up for uh, Miss Pregnant. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I don't like that at all. But believe it or not, I found it something more disturbing than that. Hello, Miss Landmine. Oh. I didn't make the damn thing. <laughs> that is just wrong. <laughs> Poor people. My favorite, though, of all is Miss Jumbo Queen. Oh! Joseph Limbaugh, you want me to be your big Jumbo Queen? Uh, actually, uh, absolutely not. Randy Bennett, oh. everyone. I'm Joseph Limbaugh. That's all for this happening for Sounds like you're saying Joseph Limbaugh. I like balls. You're on that, you got frame, okay, all right, we're good, we are good, Grant, you can go ahead and start the interview whenever you are ready. All right, <clears throat> are you ready, Mrs. Kohler? Ms. Kohler, yes. Yes, yes, uh, we're good to go. <clears throat> all right, camera rolling, three, two, one. Action. I'm Grant Geary, and I'm here today with Mrs. Jane Kohler, one of the hostages of the St. Regis Hospital hostage crisis. Thank you so much for doing this interview, Mrs. Kohler. I know this must be very difficult for you. Thank you, it sure is. Yes. So, um, at what point did you realize that the hospital was under siege? Well, first off, it was very, very frightening. Um, I'm sorry, we're... I'm sorry. Um, I have a hair in my face. Okay, last <laughs> looks. Okay, last <laughs> looks. Thank you. I, I don't see anything. I what do you mean you don't see it? I mean, it's, it's the, the hair is just right in my eye. This is my possible Pulitzer, and I don't want a hair in my Pulitzer, please, okay? No, stop. <laughs> Never mind. It's gone. Okay, okay. <laughs> Rolling. Three, two, action. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn to speak, Mrs. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were going to ask the question again. <laughs> no, why would I do that? I've already asked it. <laughs> Just ask it again. Just ask it again, Grant. Go ahead and yeah. ask the question again. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, telling you that the first time that I asked it, I felt that I really did it, you know, quite sincere, and I don't, I think I nailed it. You did, you did nail it? We got a good read on the first one. Go ahead and answer, uh, Mrs. Kohler. Okay. Uh, well, my husband and I were there at the hospital visiting my very sick son, who was there for treatment. Mm -hmm. And as it turns out, he had no idea if we were there or well, not. Well, you know, I can, had I can only well, imagine. I can only have Miss Holder, I'm sorry. Now it's my turn to speak. <laughs> I'm sympathetic toward you. Oh, so, well, I, I just, I hadn't finished about my son. No, 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 I, no, but, I'm sorry. We, we did get it. We got a bit, a bit about the son. Right. Well, no, because I was going to say that my sick son. No, had... sick son, we get it. Now it's my opportunity, <laughs> opportunity to ask you questions about said sick son. Okay? You know what? Uh, I'm, I'm confused. Hang on a second. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, uh, uh, she was at the hospital, uh, at compassionate, blah, 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 uh, at uh, empathetic to the situation, yada, 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 sick son. Right, okay. <clears throat> your son at the hospital? <laughs> well, as I said, um, we were there visiting my son. He has leukemia, and he was there for a round of treatments. Mm. And not only was it frightening for a seven-year-old I'm sorry, to Mrs. Kohler. Uh, could she say something uh, really sad so I can get a tear in my eye? <laughs> for it to, uh... <clears throat> yeah, um, you know, you know, we're still rolling, Grant. Just go ahead and just go with it and see what comes out. So okay, let's see what happens. Would you mind telling me something? Just Oh, okay. But I just told you that my son has leukemia. He's possibly dying from leukemia. Yes, I understand, but I'm talking about something really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps uh, something about um, 
puppies not having a home to live in. Something. <laughs> And my son has leukemia. That is very Yes, sad. I understand, but, but they're talking about my Pulitzer here, and um, the camera's not even on you at this point, so it's, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, look, I, I, I just, I, I was there at the hospital, and, and I saved a man's life, and some called me a hero. I thought we were going to get a story about that. Yes, but I just need to cry right now, and your story's really not affecting me in that. <laughs> so perhaps... Perhaps you can tell it better, maybe you make it a little more awful. I mean, <laughs> did your son die? Oh, oh. No, thank God. Anyone got shot? Yes, the security guard got shot. I had to save his life because the doctors were being held in a separate holding area. Did any puppies get shot? <laughs> <laughs> or kitties? That would be really terrible. Oh my God. Look, somebody was a horrible day for us, all right? Someone was shot. My, my son is dying. I, I can't do this anymore, all right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta, no, I Mrs. Fuller, please don't leave. Okay, so it's my boys who want to be a girl. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. My boy. Let's get on this. <laughs> Griffin, we have established that this is, in fact, your gun. We have also established the fact that you do not have an alibi for the night in question, and your DNA evidence was found at the scene of the crime. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Thank you very much. The prosecution rests. Mr. Griffin, are you aware that I'm wearing a $4,500 suit? No, I was not. Knowing that fact, coupled with how I'm removing my glasses and sticking the stem in the corner of my mouth, <laughs> doesn't it make you realize that I'm a man of considerable repute, unerring integrity, and intense intellect? Yes, it certainly does. Now, I've made a chart. The green areas represent the degree to which I think you are not guilty. The red areas represent guilt. <laughs> As you can see, there are no red areas. That's correct. And who made this chart, Mr. Griffin? Apparently you did. That's right. <laughs> and we previously established that I'm a man of unerring integrity and intense intellect. Is that correct? Yes. All right. <laughs> Mr. Griffin, what is it that you're doing right now? Aww. I'm petting a bunny rabbit. <laughs> May I ask why, Mr. Griffin? No real reason, I just enjoy it. Mm. Do you think... Do you think petting a bunny rabbit is something a murderer would enjoy? No, no I don't. <laughs> Could you please hold up the bunny rabbit so our jury may get a good look at it? and not a result of me buying said bunny rabbit this morning and having you bringing it out at the predetermined time. Yes, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Griffin, what is your bunny rabbit's name? Lieutenant Cuddles. <laughs> Lieutenant Cuddles. Why did you name him Lieutenant Cuddles? Because Lieutenant is a title of high rank, and he is very cuddly. Very cuddly. <laughs> Do you think a murder, a murderer would name a bunny rabbit Lieutenant Cuddles? No, no, I do not. No, you do not. <laughs> so let me ask you this, Miss Griffin. If you were to be, uh, pr go to prison for murder, who would take care of your bunny rabbit? I don't know. Could you? Oh, we've already established that I'm incredibly busy uh, uh, enacting justice, so there's no way I would have time. Then I guess no one? No one. <laughs> <laughs> so is it fair to say that if no one were to take care of your bunny rabbit, that that bunny rabbit would die? 
Yes, I suppose it is. Yes, I suppose it is. <laughs> and so anyone who prosecutes you for murder is thus becoming a bunny rabbit murderer themselves! Yes, that's true. That is all true. right! All right! I object! I object! I freaking object! I object! Your Honor. Uh, sustain. All right. Thank you. I'm going to need one moment, Your Honor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
your play. This is your only play. This is your masterpiece. <laughs> Write your play. Isn't she surprising? Aren't you amazed? Everything you thought you had to be goes up in flames. Isn't she enlightening? Try to be amused. Reason does work when you're brand. If you want to know what you're made Hey, where you going? The woman is the way Wouldn't try to fight it When she calls your name you might not see something that fine Say it ever again And if you give her one chance Man, she's gonna take you right to yourself Yourself Or else Try to make a run But the heavy just won't seem to leave you alone Oh well, oh well So shut your mouth, turn down that brain that's led you astray And you'll never know her but the woman is the way
a special report on the health care bill before Congress. We have Acne's very own Rich Keith. Rich? Hey, oh, Joseph. What's the story, Rich? Well, well, Joseph, I am, as you can see, on the floor of Congress right now. And there are several versions of the health care bill. In fact, I have two versions right here. How many versions of the bill are there? Well, more than two. Actually, Joseph, can you hold this? What? <laughs> Just uh, hold these for a second so I can show you something else. Yeah, what? Uh, How are you doing that? Joseph, take the papers. <laughs> okay, the bill you have is the president's suggestion that he said. Now, the ones I have here are... No, wait, seriously, how the hell did you do that? Joseph, if you could just focus, this is very serious. Yeah, I know, but but the, here, I, look at this. Ah! All right, what the hell? Stop that! Joseph, quit playing around. Healthcare is a very important issue. Yeah, well, that's creepy. Joseph, ah! Pay attention. Do you know how many uninsured Americans there are? This is very complicated. Yeah, is it more complicated than bending time and space? Hold on a second. I want to try something out. Hey. All right, I think that's all the time we have for tonight. Uh, let's hear it for Rich Keith, everybody. Bye.
Kitty's out of town and I like me some Tigo Bitties. Watch out! <laughs> This week, two brave men landed on the moon. While the moonwalk itself has been well documented, one part of the journey has never been seen until now. Affirmative mission control, we have touched down on the lunar surface. Mission control? Okay. Mission control. Copy that. Okay. All right, now Neil, we want your first words to be memorable. Have you guys worked on those at all? Uh, like we told you, it should be something historic and profound. Well, we've each prepared a list. Oh, great. Uh, okay, uh, my first one is, uh, I stand here before the Sea of Tranquility, and I'm left to wonder why they didn't call it the Sea of Profoundness and History. <laughs> okay, what else you got? You said you want it to be historic and profound. It's got both those words right at the end. I thought it was good, Neil. All right, how am I? Uh, let's see. Look at all this dirt. This dirt is gray. Gray like the hair of a wizened old man who is historic and profound. <laughs> okay, get off the historic and profound thing. Uh, just because we said that doesn't mean it has to literally have the words historic and profound in it. <laughs> you should have made that more clear. All right, well, listen, we got to come up with something quick. So maybe if you guys just tap your subconscious spitball stuff, uh, say the first thing that comes to mind. We'll work from there. I can see my house from here. No. <laughs> no. I just wrote myself a license for unlimited poon. Really gross. <laughs> Gerald Hickey can kick, kiss my ass. Who's huh? Gerald Hickey? He's this guy in high school who is not cool with me. Oh, nice. That's ridiculous. Okay. Ooh, I got it. How about uh, buy a Chrysler? Negative. Okay, those are really good cars, a very dependable brand. Yeah. I invested all my astronaut money with them. All right, <laughs> moving on. This is kind of like the first step I ever took as a tiny baby, only I can't remember, so I can't be exactly sure. Oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, this is kind of like drinking a bunch of NyQuil and then putting on scuba gear. Huh? Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Okay, none of these are good, even remotely. 
Uh, look, think poetry. Think meaningful imagery. Moon god, moon god. I am the mighty moon god. I command the tides to rise. Have another drink, Dad. I dare you to tell me I'm a nobody now. <laughs> Minds are frightening me. This is so amazing that I just crapped myself. But that's all right because you can do that in these suits. No way. I, I guess after this, my life is all downhill from here. No. It's Negative. full of stars. You know what he said? Oh, you know what? I got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Listen to this. Okay. One small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, womankind, and animal kind, and everything's gonna be different because we're on the freaking moon, man! No more cutting people off in traffic, and the tears are streaming down my face if you could see it. Although they might not be streaming, they could be floating. The science is still out on that. <laughs> kind of long. Okay, I don't care, that's how I feel, and I and I want, and that's what I'm gonna say. I want every word of it, and, and, and I'm gonna say one small step for, oh man, I'm definitely gonna put an uh right there before. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, and make sure you broadcast the whole thing. It doesn't make any sense without the entirety. Yeah. You got it. Another step off the limit. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for man. Did you get all that? Yeah, well, we got that.
ladies. Well, thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay. Oh, we yeah. have uh, one more little thing. What's that? Yeah. Oh, we just uh, need you to climb this ladder. Climb the 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 ladder. Tonight's show is brought to you by Vests. Vests. For guys who have rockin' arms, but are chilly in the middle. One more time for the sleeping master. Dress. The one that I like the best Breath Less I watch it fall from your hips Come Come over here I guess you know by now that This show is going down now Too late, we entered the song I get to try you on What a night for a ride through your country The sea is nice and the view is lovely too late, we open the sky I fill it up with what I like I stopped dead when you walked on by In that dress Real Dress I said I never did things like this Why? I asked her why She didn't want to know my name She said it would just get in the way yeah. Too late, we entered the storm You get to try me on What a night for a walk through your garden Is this the one that you keep your heart in? Too late, we open the sky I fill it up with what you like I stopped dead when you walked on by That dress Yeah One more
when it's time to get back I told her that I could hear my friends downstairs Walked on by that trail 